Okay, so uh, NX Override asked me to make a video on um, making the shed door that I'm making. I've never done something like this. This extensive with uh, wood and screws and sawing. And I did a YouTube search and couldn't find anything um, about building a shed door. I have a utility shed out back that the door rotted off of and we want to close it up tight and uh, store some stuff in like Stereolite containers. So, um, so far, and I don't know if I can uh, uh, get far enough back because I'm in actually my laundry room which is a little screen porch. But uh, what I did is I bought a, a piece of Texture 111 and that's just wood that some people use on the side of their house. As you can see the, the nice little uh, grooves right here. And uh, it's just you can uh, paint it. And my in-laws actually have this on the outside of their house uh, for their siding. So I bought a 4x8 uh, eight, eight sheet of Texture 111 and I bought these um, uh, four and six foot pieces of one by and uh, I just cut angles with the, uh, the miter box over here. Each corner has an angle like that so it's kind of like a picture frame around the outside of the door. Uh, I broke a piece of wood one cracked so I had these extra pieces so what I'm gonna do with this type of piece is I'm going to make a nice little decorative corner and I guess it would, might add strength to the door as well but this is what I'm going to do with these extra pieces. Yes, I've made my mark and I'm going to uh, cut that angle. This is what they're going to look like. There's one. Here's the other one. And I'm just going to put these inch and a quarter um, screws and making sure that I go right here and not in the groove of the Texture 111, so I'm going to go in the center right there. And I'll probably just put uh, one right here in the middle. These, like I said, I think they're more decoration than they are anything else. More, more stuff for me to paint, I guess. I've uh, assembled the door and as you can see I've uh, used some primer. Uh, this kills latex interior exterior. You can uh, use primer and paint uh, mix but the people at Lowe's suggested I use um, a separate primer so I use kills. Here's the door framed out and uh, all primed. Did the same kind of uh, angles that I did on the door itself at the top. Here's the door all primed. We got it laying on some saw horses and uh, like I said I took the kills and uh, did a coat. It takes about uh, 30 minutes. It takes about 30 minutes to dry and then I'm going to put on the Velspar uh, exterior paint in red and uh, kind of made a mistake here as I uh, painted. As you can see it's a little messy here and uh, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, put some painter's tape along here and um, clean that up with the red I have. So uh, next part I'm going to show you is the uh, finished painted door. I don't think that you uh, need to watch me paint the door. It's kind of boring. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> Chortle. I'm going to screw this hinge into the door first it may be the wrong way to do it we may decide we want to screw it into the side of the door jam first but we're going to try this see what happens
we'll do a we'll do a sped up montage of me screwing these hinges in. I'm going to bring you over here. Yay! Doors hung. We're going to put our uh, pole and our other hardware on. I'm going to put the uh, hinge clasp on so I can put a lock on this door.